So when the last prophet and the Quran is global, تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نظيرا. When the warner is global, then its anti-system uh, will be also global. Fitnay Dajjal, the system of Illuminati, Freemasonries, protocols of the elders of the Zions. You can see that this whole system is total kuffar is against Islam as a source international, like a new world order. Islam is the just world order. Sovereignty belongs to Allah. Nobody is superior. Nobody, whatever designation you have, from royal to whatever, nobody superior than Allah. Because Allah says in the Quran, do you have anyone had these kind of attributes? Who is free from children? Who is free from weaknesses? Who is free from sharing the power and dominance? No. So then Allah says, then okay, is this the case? Then say, Kabbirhu takbira. Glorify him, glorify me. So this is the attitude of the Quran, Surah Bani Israel, chapter 17, verse triple one. So when you see this system, this hakmiyat, this uh, the, the worshipping of human beings, idol, hero, heroism is shirk in Islam. There is no place in Islam for that. Now, the system, what's happening? What's all these playing fast and loose? How do we know? Where are we standing? Are we on the verge of something or are we on the beginning of something? What is the badaya? What is the nahaya? We have no idea whatsoever. That is why I always tell my viewers and whenever I meet, try to read the books with Quranic glasses. Read the books, read what's happening, what is happening around us, then speculate, then think, infer, analogical induction to analogical deduction, inferring, then produce the result. This world is all going in dialectical materialism. You see, there was a force long time before in France the system, let me tell you one more thing, it just came into my mind. You see, when the French Revolution came, it didn't change all the three systems of a, of a deen or a way of life that the human beings are having, political, social, economical. He was only able to change and remove the kingdom and put the Western democracy, the modern democracy, and then that's all. So the only political system was changed, but the other social and economical were intact. When Das Kapital was written in Frankfurt by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, this thing came into the result or aftermath in Russia by Lenin, Vladimir Lenin, communism, then Joseph Stalin, etc. But you see, it was only a change in economical purposes. Communism versus capitalism, Adam Smith versus Karl Marx. But remember one thing, the only change in totality in the social, political, economic system was ever done, no other than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The greatest man ever lived, the biggest, the, the biggest controversialist, according to the Orientalists, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the only person who changed all the three ways of life in this dunya. So, this person is a threat. His system is a big challenge. And this is what Allah says in the Quran, my takbir should be above all other takbirs. If you make this, you will be prosperous. If you don't make this, you will be yastabdil qawman ghayrukum thumma la yakunu amthalukum. You will be changed, niggardly people. You niggardly people, you will be changed soon. This is what Allah says in Ba'id.